Well, he went in trying to help complete strangers and then he became the victim himself. The Rhode Island DEM is revealing new details tonight about the man who drowned at Scarborough State Beach last night. They say the 38 year old died after jumping in to save others. 12 News reporter Sheena Loshudo joins us live in Narragansett where lifeguards continue warning people about the rough conditions. Sheena. And Shannon, one important detail to note here is police were called here last night at about seven o'clock. Lifeguards were already gone for the day for about one hour when things quickly turned tragic. Definitely more of a pull and kind of a big, big current. Another red flag day at Scarborough North State Beach, warning people of a high surf and strong current. Lifeguards urged swimmers to be extra careful as they kept a close watch on the waters. It's nice and warm here, but I'm not going to go and swim in seaweed. Two days ago, they were blowing their whistles every two or three minutes, every five minutes. They'd be running up and down the beach. 12 News has confirmed a red flag was also up Tuesday night as a 38 year old man drowned. DEM officials say he only went in to help two distressed swimmers complete strangers. They made it out a 17 year old boy and a 21 year old woman, but he was pronounced dead at the hospital. All three went in about an hour after lifeguards went home for the day. Tuesday night's tragedy at Scarborough, marking this month's third confirmed fatal drowning in Rhode Island waters. Earlier this month, a man drowned at Governor Naughty Park in North Providence, and last week, a woman drowned swimming at Connecticut Point in Warwick. Westerly police are also still investigating after a man died at Misquamacate Beach on the 7th. Authorities say the circumstances in that case, though, are still unclear. And the victim in this latest drowning case has not yet been identified. Reporting live in Narragansett, I'm Sheena Loshudo, 12 News. And dies trying to save a complete stranger. We're learning new details about the drowning at uh, Scarborough North State Beach last night. DEM officials are now saying the victim is a 38 year old man and he didn't know the two people he had intentions of saving. 12 News reporter Sheena Loshudo is live in Narragansett tonight where Sheena, the water conditions are still a little bit rough today. And at this point, it's after six o'clock, so the lifeguards have gone home for the day. However, a red flag remains flying here at Scarborough. It was also up flying last night, warning people about the dangerous water conditions, urging them to be careful out there. Lifeguards motion people to come back closer to the sand as several closely monitor the waters at Scarborough North State Beach Wednesday. You can see the lifeguards have their hands full. They've been working every day, you know, chasing people, pulling them out of the water, rescuing people. On Tuesday night, this is where first responders pulled a 38 year old man out of the water. The Rhode Island DEM says the victim only went in hoping to save a 17 year old boy and a 21 year old woman who appeared to be struggling. Officials say the teenager went in first and then the woman went in to try and help him, but then found herself in danger too. Authorities soon got all three people out of the water. The initial swimmers are fine but the 38 year old was pronounced dead at the hospital. It's very strong. The riptide, the undercurrent. Oh, I mean, you can feel it just when you're up to your ankles pulling on you. Normally we're in the water the whole time we're here, but not this summer. It's just too risky. Environmental police say the calls for help came in just before seven Tuesday night, noting that lifeguards at state beaches go home at six. While many at the beach did not hear about the drowning, they are taking note and urging others to be careful. It looks like it's uh, really windy and the waves could be a little dangerous. Now, this was the third fatal drowning in Rhode Island waters in July alone. The victim in this case has not yet been identified. Reporting live in Narragansett tonight, I'm Sheena Loshudo, 12 News.